five, four, three, two, one. Zero time. Here's your radiation update for today on 8-30-2015. A lot of times you'll see it just go over Canada instead. Uh, these could be storms here. And I was looking over at the eastern coast. And what's surprising is we had the remnants of Tropis Tropical Storm Erica. And she's coming up this way. So our rad reading here is around 470. Um, and the only waste facility that I know of, or, you know, nuclear facility, is Turkey Point, which is at the very southern tip of Florida. So if that storm is pushing wind over here, then I think maybe that's why it's causing this rad monitoring station to go off. That's the only explanation I can think. Of. But look at this. This um, it's shining like a Christmas tree. Let me tell you, we do have a Radcon Five alert. Not very good. Not very good at all. 360, 360 in Wisconsin. <laughs> you know where all that good cheese is? 360. Not a good idea. Let me tell you. Nuclear reactors and grass and cows. It's not a good combination really. Three ninety seven, North Dakota, three eleven in South Dakota. Three f now something else I noticed, and to me this is kind of, kind of shady. But this was the highest reading in the country, and you see how it's hidden behind the green one. So if I don't click as close as possible to get the other one, I'm not going to click on it, and I'm going to think. There's a low rate rad reading here, but really in Billings, it's going to be near off the charts. 659. That's pretty high. But somehow this got moved closer to here. So somebody could easily overlook that. Now check out Miami where I was telling you it's going up 473. Yeah, that's really disturbing. Uh, there's a lot of rain out there, or disturbance, whatever it is now, Erica. Texas, 279. San Angelo, 268 in Fort Worth. 241 in Dallas. 216 in St. George, Utah. 334 in Denver. 271 and Fort Wayne. Yeah, there's a lot of ones that are going up on Indianapolis. 307. 505 in Illinois. Champaign, Illinois. Let's have a toast. 238 in Chicago. 216 in Milwaukee. 237 CPM. Now, who knows? Maybe why. These are spiking up because every few months they gotta do their maintenance of these nuclear power plants. And what their maintenance is, they basically have to open them up for the world and clean them out, let a little radiation out. 505, that's bad. If you look down, went from that 307 Indianapolis. Four oh eight in Kansas. Three forty nine in Arkansas. Two thirty seven in Missouri. Two eighty three in Memphis. Three twenty six on the Panhandle. And let's go check out the East Coast. There's a lot of them going up there as well. 323 in Boston. 319 in Hartford. 243 in New York. 
227 in Buffalo. One fifty four in Philly, one ninety nine in Maryland, three ninety six Virginia, ninety eight Washington D.C. How convenient for them. I mean, I'm sure after you know after seventy years of playing with radiation, they can figure out uh, how to block some cities from getting more than others. That technology's out there. It's not 100%, but um, I mean, Candy was definitely concerned about it when he saw that the rain uh, from nuclear fallout weapon testing was, they were telling him it was falling right now into the, the White House lawn. And that led to finally the Cold War relations calming down and at least to stop the above ground testing of nuclear weapons. So awareness is great. We need awareness. We need people to know what's really going on around them. And that's the first step. People to know the situation. You can't fix a situation without knowing it needs to be fixed. Obviously something is wrong. Something is broken. System is broken. People say, everybody says it's broken, right? All the politicians say, it's broken, it's broken. But when they get in there, they don't fix it. So they're broken. See, that's strange. You see how many of these monitors just went out. That's really weird. I've never seen it do that. 320, Hot Atlanta, 320. 294. Now, this is shocking. I've never seen so many stations go out on me like that at one time. Two ninety six San Bernardino. They had a dirt well float up into Oakland. It was on a pier. You can see this lady just looking at it, just wondering what the hell happened. Pretty sad. I really can't tell you what's going on here. This is uh, blowing my mind. What's going on? These stations should pop back up again. <laughs> give you an idea where the wind blew another one that's pretty good so if you're downwind of a nuclear plant you can get a good idea of where the wind is blowing you see that storm is pushing all the wind north northwest. You had some wind coming off the Atlantic into Georgia. You had a lot of high radiation counts in this area. That was being blown over from over here. Some really high levels over here. You also had some high levels over here, so it looks like this wind is blowing into Canada. Thirty mile an hour winds, holy sh! So you get some of that Fukushima wind blowing onto the coast of the United States. Well, 
Looky, looky here. Still has not went back online. We have over a hundred monitoring stations just went offline. You still see some high ones there, but it doesn't show the whole story. Let's take a look at the radiation network then. There is a rad monitoring station up near Billings now, 47. <sighs> Keep in mind that these radiation network CPMs are always going to be lower than the NEC. They're just set up differently. Two sitting right behind there in Nebraska, near Iowa. Oh, we had a Wisconsin reading. We that eight it was on alert status level five, and around here somewhere. It was the highest reading that they ever recorded. Lots of ones going up near Cincinnati and Columbus. Checking out the detailed maps because this way you'll see a few more of the readings that you wouldn't see otherwise.